posting every Tuesday no Sunday Tuesdays and Thursdays so Sunday's gonna be the Sunday dinners uh Tuesday's gonna be oh my god how did I forget this oh Tuesday sweets so we're gonna be baking or like doing some little cute sweets like tutorials um and then I don't know Thursdays is gonna be crafts. So like DIYs and stuff like that with the girls or the boys. So hopefully you guys stay tuned and watch those videos. Um, I was supposed to start it the beginning of this month, but it's just been so hectic with the kids starting school and school shopping and um, just getting the house all organized for them. But I promise you that we're gonna try to post those days that I just said. So Sunday, Tuesdays, and Wednesdays. Maybe we'll post like in between those days, like pranks or something, like if I come up with a prank or if we have like this special thing going on, we'll vlog about it. But <clears throat> let's, um, let's get on with my story. So hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Um, if you're new to our channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you want to be a part of our family and see everything that we're gonna be posting. So today is, by the title that you guys see, talking about my dad, um, why he's not in my life. But I just, I've been wanting to talk about this for a long time. I just didn't know how, I still don't know how I'm gonna talk about it or where to even start, but my parents had separated when I was like six or seven. Um, and when they separated, my dad was like all about us. I remember everything. Like I remember him picking, up, picking us up every weekend that he um, was supposed to have us. Um, he would take us shopping. Like every time, every time he would pick us up, he would take us to Toys R Us and buy us a toy. And then he, I think maybe a year or I don't know I'm not too sure but a little while after um, he got with my stepmom and she put up this whole oh my god you guys I love you guys and oh spend the night with me I never did like I never wanted to my sister always did but I never wanted to because I was just like who the hell is this lady <laughs> but she put up this front that she was just this nicest person ever. And then when they got married, like, my dad just totally changed. Like, he stopped picking us up on the weekends that he had us. Um, we couldn't stay at his house. We had to stay with my grandma, which is his mom. We had to stay at her house while he had us on the weekends. He would just pick us up and spend the day with us and then just drop us off back over there. It was just a lot of things that I didn't notice that much when I was little. I was just like, oh, my dad's just being a jerk. Like, it was always, oh, my dad's being a jerk. But later on, my dad was just honest with us when we got older. And it was just like, you know, she doesn't want you guys over here. Or she hates that I get you guys stuff. She, she just basically hated us, period. Like... I don't care what she says now like she can say oh no I love you guys this and that it's all bullcrap like I'm not an idiot I wasn't born yesterday like I know your true colors like I this is bad of me of putting her on blast but I'm just so sick and tired of my dad not being able to be in my kids life like my kids are not able to see their grand their grandpa like because of this lady like even my my she he had two kids with her and they can't even see us like it's ridiculous and it got way worse when i had drama with her daughter like my stepsister it was just a big drama 
and because of her too like it made it worse for me not to be able to go see my dad or even go spend time with him at his house like before i didn't care i would just show up and bring my kids and spend time with my dad and she would act like all happy about it when she really wasn't because when we would leave she would complain about it but it was just so irritating and i'm just fed up i'm fed up that i can't see my dad that my kids can't be raised with their grandpa like to to be able to get to know their grandpa is just so irritating i just i wish that things was in our lives like my dad was the best dad ever and this lady just changed him like complete 180 and i don't know like whenever he would pick us up i would just i was a teenager and i was just like uh, like i don't want to come to my dad's because i know how she is i know who the person she is like and i would just have faces every time i would go over there i'm not gonna lie i would make faces like i'd just be like oh just someone who can be here like and she would notice it and she would just be like oh, why are your mocosos here or you need to tell your mocosa to at least say hi to me when I come in like it's just you made it that way you you hurt us you hurt us in so many ways that you just don't you don't realize you don't care as long as it's all about you and your kids like nothing else matters and it's just horrible you're just a horrible person she claims to be this big christian like oh jesus is or jesus that oh jesus gave me a message like how is god gonna give somebody a message or even be on their side when they're being spiteful and at that if you're a christian you don't curse you don't do the things you do like you don't keep family away from family especially a father to their child like that's just my biggest fear of me and my husband separating and then he gets with another female that wants nothing to do with our kids and he accepts it like it's just plain bull crap I would never want that to ever happen and for my dad to let that happen that's just a cowardice way like I love my dad to death like I wish we were close and I wish that we, we were more connected than ever, but it's never going to happen and I need to put myself, like, take myself out of this fairy tale of having my dad in my life, like, I don't know. If, he, if she was a Christian like she says she is, she wouldn't be holding my dad back from being in our lives. like. My dad, literally, if he wants to see me or even come over to my house, it would have to be in a sneaky way, which is bull crap. Like, I'm his daughter. He should be able to see me at any time of the day or any time he wants to without anybody's permission. Like, it's just straight bull crap. I don't know if anybody else in the world, I mean, I there's millions of people that are going through the same thing I am. And you know how I feel. It's just a, the worst feeling ever. Like, it just feels like your heart's being ripped out of your chest. Like, my husband tells me, I love you. I'm here for you. You don't need him. Like, I understand, like, yeah, he loves me and everything. Like, I love it. But... A dad's love is way different than any other kind of love. Like, I don't know. I remember when my grandma died. It was just a, like the biggest drama ever. Like, it was like, we couldn't lay my grandma in peace. Like, there just had to be drama. Um, I was 18 when my grandma passed away and the day that we had a 
pulled the plug on her at the hospital. My mom had taken me and my brother and sister to go say our goodbyes. And my dad was there, um, my dad's family, um, his sisters and nieces and nephews. And my stepmom had called my cousin and asked her like, you know, who's all there? And she had mentioned my mom and she just made this big drama. Like she made my dad leave before we could even say bye to my, to my grandma. Like she made him leave and it's just, she's just a horrible person. Like, yeah, she's the mother of my brothers, but they don't know the stuff she put us through, like the pain, like we're still hurting. Like, it's just that pain will never go away. We'll never get our childhood back from being with my dad and no, and like having, we don't even have memory. Like we have a little bit of memories and I wish we had more and it's just never going to happen. And so she made my dad leave because my mom was there and my dad didn't even get to say bye to his mom. And the day of his funeral, my mom came with us and it's like, my grandma loved my mom. Like she treated her like she was her own. So my mom felt like she needed to be there to say bye and to, especially to support us, to be there for us at that moment. And you know, my mom came to the funeral and my stepmom just did another big drama, but this time she was actually there and showing everybody how ridiculous, how ridiculous she was being. Like, she was just like pulling my dad and was like, you're not going in there. She doesn't need it. I don't know why she's here. She doesn't need to be here. And, and to top it off, she texts my sister saying, you better find another way to get a hold of your dad because um, you guys can't call my phone no more. Who does that? Like, who, who, like, it's just mind-blowing to me how somebody could be so, so spiteful and a Christian. It's just crazy. But thank God that my uncle's wife stepped in and was like, you know what? You're going in there and saying bye to your mother because this is the only time you're ever going to be able to see her and say bye to her. Like, you can leave if you want to. He, she told her straight up, you can leave if you want to. And thank God my aunt did that because I don't think my dad would have seen his mom for the last time because of her. Like, not even my brothers got to say bye to my grandma because she was like, nope. Nope, nobody's gonna be here. No, you guys are leaving with me. Even her dad wanted, her dad even went to the funeral and she didn't allow him to go in there. Like they left and my dad got to say bye to my grandma. And uh, the day that we, we buried her, my mom was just like, you know what? Like, I'm not gonna go. Like you guys go on your own. I just don't want to start any more drama. Like. It's been years since I haven't spoke to your dad and there's like no feelings there whatsoever. Like we separated for a reason. Like, I don't know why she's tripping on me. Like, it's just, it's just crazy. Like, it's just crazy. And when we're little, um, my brother had bit my stepsister because she bit him and she went in the room and slapped him in the face. He was three years old. Like straight slapped him in the face like he was a grown man. And my dad, like, I don't really remember if my, I think my dad yelled at her, but it's just, she's just, it's just crazy. And I don't know, she's just not a good person. Just not not a good person she's fake she's totally fake just like her daughter like <laughs> totally fake they're both drama they like to start drama 
they, I don't know, I, I feel bad talking so much crap, but I'm just so irritated, like, my dad hardly calls me, I hardly call my dad because I'm busy all the time, I'm a mom, I hardly have time to even upload any videos on YouTube, like, I try, you know, but I don't even have time for my friends, I don't talk to nobody, it's just me and mommy life, like, you know, I try to call him sometimes, and he, I guess he tries to, but it just sucks because he only calls me when he's at work or she's not home. Like, it's just stupid. It's dumb. So dumb. It just makes me so mad. So mad. Like, hmm. But, what can I say? Family, I guess, comes and goes, right? Like, just mind blowing to me. So, um, that was it for now. Um, like I said, I really didn't know what to say or what, how to start it. Like, I basically just said what was on my mind. Um, hope you guys didn't hate it. Hopefully, you guys stay tuned and find out more. Um, Anything else you guys want to know, you can comment down below and let me know what you guys would like to hear with story times. Um, what I am going to be talking about soon is um, uh, if our house is haunted, because I truly believe it is. Like, I have a video. Um, we'll talk about that in the next video. Um, but stay tuned and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you're new to our channel and hit that notification bell every time so you can get notified every time we upload a video. Um, so yeah, I love you guys.